Hi everyone, welcome again to my channel. My name is Dami Alabi. If you're coming for the first time, I make lots of lifestyle videos, fashion videos, and I do a little bit of vlogs on this channel. So if that is something you like, I recommend that you subscribe. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to tie the auto gilly. I'm also going to show you how to make the auto gilly using just needle and thread, which took quite a lot of time. I'm just going to explain the basics in this video and um, refer you to my other auto gilly video where I did, of course, the auto gilly, but it was just same measurement the same style just using needle and thread and i just wanted to show you how it is like uh this is an old ghillie this used to rain back in the days i took this from my mom's wardrobe so i've done a video on how to tie auto ghillie in the past using my sister as a model but this is another one this one i used an old ghillie i don't know what it is called but i'm going to find the name and put it on the screen my mom used to use this ghillie back in the days and people just stopped using it so i found that this ghillie actually has a lot length a lot more length compared to the now now single ghillie that people use so I decided to use this one instead. The back is 12 inches by 28 inches. I'll put the I'll put the measurements in the description box. So I don't have to answer every single person what the measurement is. And also, like I said, I used needle and thread from start to finish. It was really simple to make, really easy. It's just that it takes a lot of time. I'm going to be very honest with you. Let's get started. Start to come up a little closer so that you can see what I'm doing. Please ignore my hair, I just relaxed it. I'm not natural. So we're going to lay this and we're going to tie it at the back. Let's make sure it is as tight as possible. And push that to the back. Now as you can see the pleats are already there because I of course made them this is a needle and thread. Um, now this one at the back. It's even perfect for me right now because I do not have um, weaves in or wig or anything. I have only my hair and I obviously don't want to show people my insignificant length of hair. I'm going to take this and tuck that in at the back. In this two, I'm going to tie. Talking all the extra, extra strap, and I'm going to just you know, play with the pleats to give to have it looking exactly how I want. I think I'm really fine with how it looks. It's not that deep. I'm fine with how this one looks. Just very simple, very small. I know sometimes auto it goes like really, really big, but. I ain't about that really big auto gilly life. I love my auto gilly looking very simple, very chic, nothing too big. And uh, yes, this is how you tie the auto gilly. Like I said, from start to finish, this auto gilly was made with needle and thread. Let's get over to the tutorial. Now I need to explain to you that I lost a large part of my clips. I am really, really sorry. But what I did here is I started off by cutting my gilly into this one the measurement is 22 inches wide by 40 inches long and what i did if you've not seen my other video i recommend that you check it out so that you can follow up and understand what i'm doing here but basically what i did was i created the pleats halfway in and i used them office pins to secure the pleats so while that is done i ironed it down i did as many as i could now what i'm doing now is i'm taking my needle and thread and i'm sewing that through to secure the pleats now instead of using glue or sewing machine i am sewing that through using needle and thread you can see going through this can be very hard because um the gill is thick that is why i recommend i use long needle instead of short needle also ensure that your needles at the tip and let the majority of your thread be on the inside so if you look closely you see that it's only a dot of thread that is showing up I should on top of the ghillie make to make it as neat as possible just ensure that most of the uh, what's it called most of the thread is showing under not on top so you want to repeat this process all through until you have as many pleats as you want there's really no certain number so how many pleats you can have i think i came up with about 10 in this one it can be big it can be small just whatever rocks your boat you guys know as i like to say let your creativity lose i i hate rules so i don't give you rules like just work with what you have 
so i'm just sewing that through i'm going to sew that till the end and repeat this over and over and over again it took me two days because of course i took breaks in between and uh, yes So I'm checking next I'm going to put this on my head to see how it looks and it looks really good can you see as after all the pleats have been created now what I want to do now is I'm going to um, attach the strap so what I want to do is cut out the strap this one I decided not to sew it because it's just extra wahala trying to sew it so I just worked with this one cut out the strap I think this is 10 inches wide by 3 inches yeah this is 3 inches wide by 10 inches length just to make it a little bit thick and long. I wanted this strap to be long. My other glue, the strap wasn't long enough for me. So I decided to make this really long. So I'm snipping that right down the middle. Where am I pausing? What was that about? Okay, I think my camera was not focusing. So next we're going to take the pleated glue, obviously. And we're going to attach the strap. You want to fold that, fold that in for you so don't just drop it on that fold it in and sew across i recommend that you sew as many times as you can to secure can you see it's hard exactly why you need big needle put that through there and continue what happened okay i'm sewing i'm sewing so that so 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 Sorry, I sing with, I literally sing with every word. The partner complains all the time, but it's a God-given talent and it's going to invest in my music career, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> so I'm just attaching the strap. You're going to do that on the other side. This is quite a lengthy clip. We'll probably just pull music. Or well, let me sing for you. No, I don't want to deafen you. Not yet. I want you to be able to go through this video. I really just want to try and show you every single step in very detailed clips because I could have easily just cut this through but I want you to get every single step as I do it. And I'm not used to long videos but this is probably going to be my first long tutorial out. Now this is what it looks like with the strap on both sides. Can you see that? Now let's get over to the pleats on the top shall we? Oh, that's the strap long and cute now what i did here was i cut 22 inches by i believe this is 40 22 inches by 28 ouch i don't remember you know what i'm going to confirm and put it on the screen i'm going to confirm the measurements and put it on the screen so what i did was i cut the gilly then I created pleats. I gathered them on top of each other, one by one, one by one, one by one. I actually recorded this video in January, and I made it in it in March. I, I was feeling very bad because I lost most of the footage. But I'm like, you know, I don't want this. I don't want this video to waste. So I'm going to bring it to you. Try as much as possible to explain it. So what I did was after cutting the daily, as you can see, you can see that they are little little pleats. They are attached together with safety pin just to hold them in place. So what I did was I layered them on top of each other. I layered them, layered them, layered them, and I was securing them with pins. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking needle across the gilly to secure the pleat. You see it when it, you see it at the end. Now, I recommend that you check out my previous video, which is how to make also gilly. I'll link it in the description box. I recommend that you check that video. When you check that video, you understand this step a lot easier. That's if you have never seen and also get a tutorial this, that one will help you understand what i'm doing here but this is just me showing you the steps a little bit more because that one was like kind of cut 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 it was short but this one you know i try to show you majority of the clips you know show you the steps as much as i can so we're going to just take that through and you're going to do that on three edges the beginning the end and the middle the two ends and the middle so take that through make sure that you don't leave any pleats out it can be very tricky We'll take that you don't leave any pleats out and at the end of the day you come out with a very beautiful looking gilly for your pleats now if you want it to be a lot bigger and a lot longer you need to of course cut a lot more gilly but 
I like my gilly looking very small and cute. I don't know why people like to carry you know, very big gilly. Of course, it's your preference. So whatever you want, whatever rocks your boat, boo. So this is what I like. This is what I make. It will take you a long time. I promise you that one for sure. But I find that you can easily lose in this gilly. And if you want, you can couple it together. That's if that is what you like. I think you can couple um, Ashoki Gilly together. Next step is that we're going to be attaching this one to the first part. Okay, as you can see here, this is the first part we did and this is the cleat all done. That is the one we just did. Like I said, I like my own gilly small. So what I'm doing now is I'm sewing the tip of the pleat. That's the one that is layered up to the other one that has the pleats it's confusing but i'm sewing the two together basically and i'm doing this on the inside so i took one of the pleats the first piece of the um, one on top and i attached it to the second one and i'm sewing that together one man can change the world so i'm sewing that together now once this is done we're going to make another strap for the pleats on top which is what when you see of course you've already seen that video how i tied the gilly you see how i tied it so i'm going to also cut one strap i don't have the clip of that but i wanted to explain it as well and wrap it around the gilly and so sorry that my voice is a little weird i just woke up and this is the best time to record this if not it will be noisy you know how nigeria is noise will come in no time like it has no chill Sorry that the footage is blurry. I don't know what happened. My camera is forming, but I'll probably be able to cut this part out. Or not. Probably not. So I just want to show you what that is. So that is how you make your auto gilly using needle and thread. If you have any questions, of course, you can ask your girl. If you have any recommendations on any video you like to see, let me know. So this is what it looks like finished. And you'll see the rest in a later video. Any recommendations drop it in the comment section thank you i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any more questions i will of course love to answer them in the comment section you guys will always answer all my questions thank you again for watching my name is dami alabi don't forget to subscribe to this channel check out my other gilly videos i have videos on how to sew gilly how to stone gilly how to beat gilly what are you looking for how to tie gilly what are you looking for that you will not find check the playlist in the description box for how to deal with game. My name is Dami Alabi again. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you guys in my next video. Bye!